So my name is Juan Ignacio Iglesias. I'm a board member of Wikimedia Argentina and I will read about Buenos Aires because it's a city I live in and I love it. So um, Buenos Aires is the capital and largest city of Argentina and the second largest metropolitan area in South America after Greater Sao Paulo. It is located on the western shore of the estuary of the Rio de la Plata on the continent's southeastern coast. The Greater Buenos Aires Conurbation which includes several Buenos Aires province districts, constitutes the third largest conurbanization. Conur sorry. <laughs> the Greater Buenos Aires uh, conurbation, which also includes uh, several Buenos Aires province districts, constitutes the third largest conurbation in Latin America, with a population of around 15 and a half million people. The city of Buenos Aires is neither part of Buenos Aires province nor the province's capital, Ido. Rather, it's an autonomous district. In 1880, after decades of political infighting, Buenos Aires was federalized and removed from Buenos Aires province. The city limits were large enlarged to include the towns of Belgrano and Flores. Both are now neighborhoods of the city. The 1994 constitutional uh, uh, amendment granted the city autonomy, hence its formal name Ciudad Autónoma de Buenos Aires, Autonomous City of Buenos Aires. Its citizens first elected a chief of government, like a mayor, in 1996, before the mayor was directly appointed by the president of the republic. Buenos Aires is one of the 20th largest cities in the world. It is along Mexico City and Sao Paulo, one of the three largest, uh, um, uh, sorry, one of the three Latin American cities considered an alpha city by the study GAWC5. Buenos Aires, Argentina has the third best quality of life of Latin American cities. Buenos Aires' quality of life is ranked 81st uh, in the world, which is with its per capita income among the three highest of the region. It is the most visited city in South America, ahead of Rio de Janeiro, and the second most visited city across Spanish Latin America, behind Mexico City. It's also one of the most important, largest and most populous South American capitals, often referred to as the Paris of South America. Buenos Aires is a top tourist destination and is known for its European style architecture and rich cultural life with the highest concentration of theaters in the world. Buenos Aires held the first Pan American Games in 1951, and the city also had two venues in the 1978 FIFA World Cup. Buenos Aires will host the 2018 Summer Youth Olympics. People from Buenos Aires are referred as to Porteños, people of the port. The city is the birthplace of the current Pope Francis, former Archbishop of Buenos Aires and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. Etymology. When the Aragonese conquered Cagliari, Sardinia from the peasants in 1324, they established their headquarters on the top of a hill that overlooked the city. The hill was known to them as Buen Aire, or Bonea in the local language. As it was a free of the full smell prevalent in the old city, uh, the castle area, which is adjacent to the swampland. <laughs> During the siege of Cagliari, the Argonists built a sanctuary to the Virgin Mary on top of the hill. In 1335, King Alfonso the Gentle donated the church to the Merce Mercedarians, who built an abbey that stands to this day. In the years after that, uh, a story circulated claiming that the statue of the Virgin Mary was retrieved from the sea after it miraculously helped to calm a storm in the Mediterranean area. The statue was placed in the abbey Spanish sailors, especially Andalusians, venerated this image and frequently invoked fair winds to aid them in their navigations and prevent shipwrecks. A sanctuary of, to the Virgin of Buen Aire would be later erected in Seville. In the first foundation of Buenos Aires, Pedro de Mendoza called the city Holy Mary of the Fair Winds, a name chosen by the chaplain of Mendoza's expedition, a devotee of the Virgin of Buen Aire, Mendoza's settlement soon came under attack by indigenous people and it was abandoned in 1541. For many years, the name was attributed to Sancho del Campo, who is said to exclaim, how fair are the winds of this land, as he arrived. But Eduardo Madero, in 1882, after conducting an, ex an extensive research in Spanish archives, would ultimately conclude that the name was closely linked to the devotion of the sailors to Our Lady of Buen Aire. A second and permanent settlement was established in 1580 by Juan de Garay. 
who sailed down the Paraná River from Asunción, now the capital of Paraguay. Garay preserved the name chosen by Mendoza, calling it the city, uh, the city Ciudad de la Santísima Trinidad y Puerto de Santa María del Buen Aire, city of the most holy trinity and the port of Saint Mary of the Fair Winds. The short Buenos Aires became common use uh, became the common usage in the 17th century. The usual abbreviation of Buenos Aires in Spanish is BS. That AS. It is common to a large of residents whose main language is English to speak of BA or BA. The history. So, okay. <laughs> Colonial times. Simon van de Solis, navigating in the name of Spain, was the first to reach the Rio de la Plata in 1516. His expedition was cut short when he was killed during an attack by a native Charrua tribe in what is now Uruguay. The city of Buenos Aires was first established as Ciudad de Nuestra Señora Santa Maria del Buen Aire, literally, City of Our Lady of Saint Mary of the Fair Winds, after Our Lady of Bonaire, patroness of Saint of Sardinia. On the 2nd of February of 1536, <laughs> by a Spanish expedition led by Pedro de Mendoza, the settlement founded by Mendoza was located in what today is San Telmo, district of Buenos Aires, south of the city center. More attacks by indigenous people forced the settlers away, and in 1542 the site was abandoned. A second and permanent. The article has a error, actually. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's repeated. <laughs> we have to edit this. So, um, from from it, its early days, uh, Buenos Aires depended primarily on trade. During most of the 17th and 18th centuries. Spanish ships were menaced by pirates, so they developed a complex system where the ships with military protection were dispatched to Central America, crossed the land from there to Lima, Peru, and from it to the inner cities of the Viceroyalty. Because of this, products took a very long time to arrive in Buenos Aires, and the taxes generated by the transport made them prohibitive. Still true today. The scheme frustrated the trader from of Buenos Aires and thrived contraband industry developed. This is this also instilled a deep resentment of Porteños toward the Spanish authorities. Sensing these feelings, Charles III of Spain progressively eased the trade restrictions and finally declared Buenos Aires an open port in the late 18th century. The capture of Portobello by British forces also fueled the need to foster commerce via the, via the Atlantic route. To the treatment of the Lima-based trade, one of his, of his rulings was to split the region of the Viceroyalty of Peru and create instead the Viceroyalty of the Rio de la Plata, with Buenos Aires as the capital. However, Charles, place, Charles, Charles placating actions did not have the desired effect, and the Porteños, some of them versed in the, in the ideology of the French Revolution, became even more convinced of the need of in, for independence from Spain than the war of independence. During the British invasions of the Rio de la Plata, British forces attacked Buenos Aires twice. In 1806, the British successfully invaded Buenos Aires, but an army from Montevideo, led by Santiago del Niers, defeated them. In the brief per period of British rule, the Viceroy, uh, Rafael Sobremonte, managed to escape to Córdoba and designated the city as its capital. Buenos Aires became the capital again after its liberation, but Sobremonte could not resume his duties as a Viceroy. Santiago de Liniers was chosen as new viceroy, prepared the city against a possible new British attack, and repelled the attempted invasion of 1807. The militarization generated in society changed the balance of power favorably for the Criollos, in contrast to the peninsulas, as well as the development of a peninsular war in Spain, an attempt by the peninsular American Martin de Alzaga to remove Liniers and replace him with a junta was defeated by Criollo armies. However, in 1810, it would be those same armies who would support a new revolutionary attempt, successfully removing the Viceroy Baltasar Hidalgo de Cisneros. This is known as the May Revolution, which is now celebrated as a national holiday. This event started the Argentinian War of Independence, and many armies left Buenos Aires to fight different strongholds of the royalist res resistance, with varying levels of success. The government was held first by two juntas of many members, then by two triumvirates, and finally by an unipersonal, unipersonal office, the Supreme Director. Formal independence in Spain was declared in 1816 at the Congress of Tucumán. Buenos Aires managed to endure the whole Spanish-American War of Independence without falling again under royalist rule. 
in the 19th century, the city was blockaded twice by naval forces, by the French in 1838 to 1840, and later by Anglo-French expedition from 1845 to 1848. Both blockades failed to force the city into submission, and foreign powers eventually desisted from their demands. Modern history. <laughs> okay. It was a long article, but... Um, Urbanistic problems, <laughs> on the other hand. <laughs> the villas... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I should have taken a smaller article. I didn't know it was so big nowadays. <laughs> so, uh, yes, this was the introduction to Buenos Aires. Uh, part of my English. <laughs> <laughs>